Hey, basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most well-known triangle basketball set plays that you can run, and that is the pinch post. This is a fantastic offensive basketball play, and I've used it with some teams as well as a coach. I used this play last with a grade 9 club basketball team. This is a great play, let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out this offense, but first if you like basketball plays, drills, and skills, hit that like button and subscribe. Let's get down to the clipboard. Okay, so first in this play, we're going to have player 5 heading up towards the elbow. Player 1 is going to pass over to player 4 and cut down towards this corner. This is all going to happen at the exact same time. Now, what we're going to be having here is player 2 cutting up towards the top of the key or the point and player 4 is going to be passing player 2 the ball. At this point, what we're going to be having is player 3 cutting towards that high post and player 5 moving down towards the low post. Now, we're going to be having player 2 pass to player 3 and player 2 is going to cut and act like he's going to be cutting towards the rim while using player 3 as a screen even though player 3 still has the ball and player 2 is going to be popping out towards the free throw line extended. At this time player 3 is going to pass player 2 the ball and we're going to be having player 2 being open for that shot. However, against a zone defense, this works a bit differently. Let me explain to you how, but also, really quickly, I'm going to show you some backup options. So we're going to be having, at this point, player 5 setting a back screen on player 1, and player 1 is going to be cutting baseline out towards this block or mid-range area. At this point in time, player 2 could pass down to player 1 for that shot as well. So this is a great option and a great set play to run out of the triangle offense. Now let's check it out against a zone defense. Because against the zone defense, it does work really well also. So let's get down to the clipboard. What I'm going to do is show you it against a 2-3 zone defense and a 3-2 zone defense. Really quickly, if you want a fantastic zone defense that's going to stop a ton of options when it comes to this play or any others, is the unbeatable basketball defense. Go check it out in the link in the description below. Okay, so against the 2-3 zone defense, we're going to have player 1 pass over to player 4. That's going to bring player 4 right up and player 1 is going to pop down. Of course, that is a possibility for an open 3-point shot, so that is a different play, but again, it is an option. We're going to be having player 5 in the high post because now, with player 1 cutting down towards this area, that's going to be bringing player 5 up. And again, if player 4 red doesn't pop down to cover player 1, player 1 can drive baseline. Player 5 red is going to have to go and defend that, and this can be a quick low to high pass for a mid-range shot. So just food for thought, even though that's not the play. Now... What's going to be happening here is player 2 is going to be moving over towards the point. Player 4 is going to be passing to player 2. Player 2 is going to get that ball at the point, And player 3 is going to be going towards the high post. That's going to be now bringing player 3 the ball. Well, player 2 is going to pass the ball down to player 3. Player 2 is going to then drive and then pop out. And player 2 is going to get that ball. Now, what I prefer, because that's going to be bringing out these two players, that's going to be shifting the defense over just like this. Now, of course, if player 2 had that shot, he could have taken it, but if he could not get that shot off and the other defense was too quick, I want to have that ball back go back into the high post and player 5 to cut over towards this low post. That's going to be then bringing up player 5 red, or... What I also like to have happen, because this is one option, just pass down, hide a low pass, easy basket. But another option is to have player 5 do a back screen on player 4, or just to stay in that low post. We'll have now player 1 cut baseline and out towards this 3 point line. If he's open in this area, definitely hit him up for a pass. But, if he's not open and he makes it all the way out there, that's 
still an, uh, that's still not an option anymore. So now we're going to be having player four cut down towards this low post, high to low pass, and he can get that basket. But remembering, if you want to have simple offense, you just need player five to come over towards that low block, high to low pass, and if the defense does collapse, he can kick it out to one of these two players. Now against a 3-2 zone defense, what you're going to be seeing most likely is the zone playing like this. Player 1 is going to pass over to player 4, cut down towards this corner, and again, that may be an open shot. However, the defense is going to move over just like so, and what we're going to be having is now player 3, he needs to get over towards this side of the key because that's going to be a possibility of being picked off, so he needs to get over towards that side. That's going to now bring the defense over just like this, and player 2 is going to go into the high post. Player 3 is going to pass player 2 the ball, player 3 is going to pop out, and player 3 is going to receive that pass and may be open for a shot. Now another option with there only being two post defenders is player 3 could then drive, bring over that post defender, and have player 2 in that, that mid-range post area, inside the key at least, for an easy shot. And again, if that brings in that player 4, he could just dish it down to player 5 for an easy basket. Or do a skip pass out to player 1. There are so many different options. Another option that could happen is now with player 5 being up, player 4 being down guarding the post, player 1 watching that high post, we can now have player 1 blue cut over towards this area of the court and player 3 could pass down to player 1 for that shot. Again, reading the defense and reacting to what that zone defense is giving you. I hope that this video and this play helps help you win more games. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe and now you can run the pinch post triangle basketball offense with your basketball team.